Dear friend, you are welcome to our daily revelation. I'm Dr. Prosper Tetedo in the United Kingdom. Our topic for reflection today is pressing on through the storm. And our key scripture is Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1. Whoever loves instruction loves knowledge, but he who hates correction is stupid. There are two kinds of criticism. One is unfair criticism. There will always be people who love to rain on your parade. People who try to build themselves up by tearing others down. Mark Twain said, keep away from people who try to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that, but the really great make you feel that you too can be great. Two, constructive criticism. Solomon said, like an earring of gold or an ornament of fine gold is a rebuke of a wise judge to a listening ear. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 12. There is a major obstacle you must overcome in order to reach your highest potential. What is it? One may ask. Our natural reluctance to discover anything unflattering about ourselves. When you erect defenses against your inadequacies and try to hide your faults, you close the door to a vital source of self-knowledge and in so doing, you deny yourself the joy of growing. Every one of us can improve what we are doing or the way we are doing it. In fact, if you are still celebrating what you did last year, you are not making enough progress this year. After winning his third world championship, instead of having a big celebration, bull rider tough headman moved on to Denver to start a new season. The whole process over again. His line of reasoning was, the bull in Denver won't be impressed with what I did last week. Whether you are an untested rookie or a veteran, if you want to be a champion tomorrow, you must be teachable today. Or, as Solomon puts it, whoever learns from correction is wise. Proverbs chapter 15. Verse 5, may the Lord bless you, even as you go through storms of various types of criticism, even the unfair criticism and the objective criticism, keep on track and your tomorrow shall be greater than today in Jesus' name. Be blessed.